with one Dennis Martina moving to one Minnesota, one never knows what might happen between one and Stevens and one Carol Bessie. Relax, first of all, one Dennis Martino hasn't got the job yet, so he's not definitely moving. And second of all, things between one Carol Bessie and one of Stevens are fine. It's the way they are. In fact, you seem to care about it more than I do at this point. Yeah, right. This looks like trouble. Your precious Judge Donnelly is a complete lunatic. Hi, Mike. Hey, what are you talking about? Do you know how you decided whether or not I was guilty? Huh? He flipped a coin. What? Yeah, and then for my sentencing, he spun a big wheel like I was on some kind of game show. What? And then he made me stand on one foot and sing Bad, Bad Leroy Brown. I love that song. That doesn't... That's not... What did you do to make him act that way? Me? Nothing. I, I didn't do anything. Now, we'll go down to the courthouse tomorrow. I'll talk to Judge Donnelly. He loves me. Your mentor has flipped his lid. On the south side of Chicago. Where do you see this nut job? Judge Donnelly is not a nut job. He's a legend. Round and round she goes. Where she stops, goes and goes. How can you just spin a wheel like that? Looks like you've got yourself 50 hours of community service. Next, Judge Donnelly. What's going on here? Not now, Mr. Stevens. Next case. Oh, Judge, hold on a minute. My, my friend Cal here says you determine guilt or innocence by flipping a coin. Mr. Stevens, this is my courtroom, and I will run it as I see fit. But I see here that you're being charged with parking in a towaway zone. Heads or tails? No, wait, wait, Judge. I can't let you do that. Are you representing this defendant? No, sir, but I'm interested. Then you have no business here. Heads or tails, sir? Judge, my business is to try and find out what's happening to you. One more word, Mr. Stevens, and I shall have no choice but to find you in contempt of this court. Sir? Tails? Congratulations. You're free to go. Judge Donnelly! That's it, Mr. Stevens. I find you in contempt. But he was only trying... I'll do in contempt as well. Heads or tails? What? Heads, you're guilty. Tails, you're not. Oh, no. Oh, look at that. You're both guilty. Spin it. No, don't spin it. Judge Donnelly, listen. Come on, man. It's Mickey Head. This, this is not like you. Let's... Let's talk about this. Sure. Right after the two of you spend one night in jail. What? Take them, please. J jail? Why are you throwing us in jail? Because the wheel of justice demands it. Judge Donnelly. We're in recess. You can't be serious. Ooh, don't worry. I'll talk to the judge. I used to watch him in high school. He loves me. All right. He's a legend. All right, you made your point. I'm Ed Stevens. I'll come down to the courthouse, and, and, and I'll help you. I'm a lawyer. You don't have to spend the night in jail. You're so lucky. Hello? Dennis. Oh, Denny. Hi. You're never going to guess where I am. Jail. Yes. Is Ed and I, Ed and I got thrown in jail by this crazy judge? No. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you about it. Hello? You're, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Breaking up, Denny. Uh, I'll tell you about it when I see you. Hey, did you did you get any news on the job? What? Hello, Dennis? Oh. Do we really have to stay here all night? Yeah, the judge denied his bail. What do we do? We just sit down. Wait till morning, I guess. Shower. I'm going to go pay a little visit to Judge Donnelly. Mm, yeah.